Hi, my name is Sonia from Cosmic Harmony. I'm going to do a tarot reading for you today and see what messages want to come out. The way I understand reality to be is that our outer world is a reflection of our inner world. So with the tarot, we can look at what may be going on in the outer world around us and the current energy coming towards us, the people in our lives. And by looking at our reflection in those experiences and people, we can dive into our own subconscious which is creating our reality every moment. Becoming aware of our subconscious can help us be more apt to heal and discover who we really are and what we want to experience, making our creation more a more conscious experience. If you would like a personal reading, email me at the email address below and I will email you the rates. There is also information about my writings, stories, and world meditations down below if you'd like to donate to the channel there is a link down below for that and lastly i appreciate any likes shares and subscribes that helps the channel grow and get out there to more people thank you okay i'm going to do a general tarot reading um okay so first i'm going to start with I pulled some animal, animal spirit oracle cards and I pull these to give me a sense of who I'm dealing with. So these three cards, I got the earthworm, the nightingale, and the butterfly reversed. And with them, they have kind of like a similar message. It's um, someone who is being shy, self-conscious. Um, they're afraid to speak their own truth. They're afraid to transform. And um, this card actually came out last in the five that I pulled. And um, the nightingale, though, okay, there's a few things I want to look at, look at here. Because the earthworm, with it being reversed, okay, um, the earthworm is earth energy. So it's like um, you may be struggling with earthly things like um, be struggling with money or something. Um, and with the nightingale being reversed, you might, it's like you have something like you have that song in you to sing or the truth, a truth to speak, something within you that you need to communicate that's not coming out. And with the butterfly, it's like it's going to turn into something beautiful if you let it out, but you're resisting. Um, or you may have been resisting if you're not anymore. But then the other two cards that came out was the owl and the spider. And um, the owl... Well, first of all, I'm going to look at the spider. It came out after the owl, but um, the spider is someone who creates something. Like the spider creates the spider web, right? And the spider web can support like other spiders in it. So it's like a supportive energy, both spiritually and physically. The owl um, is represents like abundance good fortune like treasure like you have something coming to you but it's based on you taking this action right here and so like that's what i'm seeing mostly in this reading so the way it could be is it could be that you're one one like this is two different people and you're one of those people looking at the other but if it is, then it's um, two aspects like within yourself. So, because what I'm seeing, it's kind of like a, um, not like a back and forth energy, but it's like um, an energy of you coming out of an old mindset. Hold on. It's like coming out of an old mindset, but then um, 
being like almost like tested, tempted type of thing to fall back into your old mindset. And it looks like it's by um, things that happen or by other people. Because I've got, um, I pulled three oracle cards and I got like uh, Golden Palace, Rescue, and then Goblins Reversed. And with those energies, it's like the Golden Palace is like, um, it's like you came to a realization that um, you are abundant or you have enough or you are enough. Okay. And the rescue is, okay, so there's two different ways it could play out. It's like either someone is going to, okay, so this is like someone is going to come to you wanting you to rescue them. But it's like a form of like manipulation, like the emotional manipulation where they, um, you know, like the, the woe is me. <laughs> I need help, right? And um, you can fall into the old pattern of um, neglecting yourself by rescuing this other person. The other way that uh, this plays can play out is that, like, say something happened to you and you're thinking, oh, poor me. And it's like the goblins are your old mindsets of, the, of lack. Like, you don't have enough. You're not enough. And good things can't, ha can't happen to you. Okay, so um, I pulled some tarot cards and... I'm trying to think. Should I go to the past first? Okay, I'm going to go to the past first just to give like an, like an overview. Okay, so in the past I got the three of wands reversed. Okay, and this is like um, waiting for something to um, basically kind of like come save you. Or like you have an idea that you want to do, but like waiting for the right moment that never comes. Okay. But what I'm showing is, or um, it's waiting for a person. Like you feel like you can't move on with what you want to do in life or what you, uh, the kind of life you want to have because you're waiting for a person. It's like, and whatever this thing or this, that you're waiting for it's like um we've got uh the six of swords reversed the chariot reversed which is the sign of cancer uh justice reversed which is the sign of libra um the four of pentacles and the hermit which is virgo so what I'm showing is that in the past, it's like you were waiting for this and it didn't come. But so like either you felt like you, things were stuck. It wasn't fair. Um, if it was a person and it could have been someone who left and the way they did it, it wasn't fair to you. Okay. But you've been sitting here holding on to these pentacles, like this energy, like, um, trying to hold it when it's already gone and it's keeping other things from like flowing into you. So, but what this ends up doing is it causes you to go into hermit mode, which is like, uh, going within yourself, like, like looking within yourself, seeking inside of yourself. Okay. Um, and another card that I got, it's actually for the future. It could have already happened or is about to happen, but is the eight of cups reversed. And that can be kind of like a, um, mini type tower. Like something could have been taken, taken away from you that you didn't want to let go of. So, um, 
I can see how that like applies to my life. Like for instance, my job, I can't work it right now, but you know, um, I'm just saying like something is gone. And I think that when you went into the hermit mode, like when you were seeking with inside of yourself, you realized that it was gone because in the current energy, what I'm showing is that uh, you're building, you're currently building something and it's a collaboration. So you are either collaborating with people to build something like you're just starting out or um, you're doing something that's going to be of assistance to others. So that's what you're working on. And this is how you may be seeing yourself right now. It's the Queen of Wands, but it's reversed. Queen of Wands is the sign of Leo, but it can also be Aries or Sagittarius. And um, it's like upright. When she's upright, she's... Um, She's like confident, like beauty, like kind of like the radiant, like walk into the room type person that the energy just draws people to her. Okay. That's what she's like when she's upright. But when she's reversed, it's like you don't realize your own potential that you have that within you. Um, but what I'm showing is that whatever you're working on is going to end up, is it's showing that it's going to end up, um, with the Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles is like um, abundance, both um, like money-wise, you're gonna have lots of money. Um, and you can see in the card too, there's like people holding hands with a little kid. So it's like family. So you could be bringing a lot of people together. You could be um, coming together with someone because it could be like a relationship, a love relationship or, or whatever. But like, this is what, like this, whatever it is that you're starting on is supposed to lead to. And, um, so like I said, it's like this, if it hasn't happened yet, it's, it's about to, um, of course, energies can change like you can make it easier on yourself and start whatever it is that you got in mind but it's showing you as the queen of pentacles queen of pentacles is a sign of capricorn can also be virgo or taurus and what i'm showing is that like it's like you start to get a handle on like both it's like the motherly card but also she's like uh got her shit together as far as like finances and stuff too so it's like getting all of this together um she looks a little depressed in that card though but anyway <laughs> okay and then the other card uh where did they, I'm missing one of the cards. I don't know where it went, but um, I'll just tell you. Okay. So the other future card that I got was the Four of Wands. And the Four of Wands is like, that's another card of coming together. It can be like um, marriage, celebration, like commitment, like it's, it's like, uniting people okay bringing people together and I clarified that and this is the what I thought was interesting okay so it's clarified by the knight of wands which is the car a card for Sagittarius can also be Leo or Aries and then the knight of pentacles which is the card for Virgo it can also be um, Taurus or Capricorn but these energies are like really different from each other. So um, the Knight of Wands is like someone who like gets like the fire lit under their ass and they'll jump into shit, right? And they'll start things, but then it's like it quickly fizzles out and they move on to something else. Um, 
they're, they take a lot of chances, risks, right? Whereas the Knight of Pentacles is like so calculating, they just sit there on their damn horse and kick the little grass or whatever <laughs> and don't do anything, but their uh, shit's not falling apart, right? Okay, but they're not going anywhere. Okay, so, okay, so this could be two different people that are coming together, okay, in your life. But if it is, then it's like, um, it's also two different aspects of yourself. Okay, the card that I can't find that clarified it was the two of pentacles, which is like balancing, right? Trying to balance the two. So um, it's balancing the Knight of Wands energy and the Knight of Pentacles energy. So it's like, um, if it's if it's two people, right? Um, then the way those two people come together is by like the Knight of Wands trying to balance out bring more like stability and like uh like you know like planning uh the um what's it called the word uh, uh consistent <laughs> consistency like in what they're doing right whereas if it's more the knight of pentacles energy that's more um taking chances following your passions and bringing more of that into your life. And that's what would, I'm actually showing bring two people together if it's two people. Um, but again, if it's two people, it's also going to be two aspects within yourself. So um, if you want this like stability, the coming together, feeling whole within yourself, whether it's more people, like, involves people, or it's just something within you. If it's within you, it's going to end up showing with, like, outside of you. But it, it's about finding the balance and taking action um, on something that's going to bring both, be, be both passionate and stable. So, and then I pulled some advice cards and I'm showing that there is like a struggle in you with maintaining that which you recently realized because um, the advice that came out was the five of swords and the king of swords. Okay, and so um, and then there was also some or the five of swords came out I clarified it with the king of swords and then also the four of swords reversed came out with the ten of swords and the seven of pentacles reversed so the main thing that I'm getting from this is that there might be someone who is coming back into your life, um, by the way, the King of Swords is Aquarius, it can also be Libra or Gemini, but I'm showing this energy as you, because this is like your advice. So, because what I'm showing is that there's either someone coming into your life or it's just the thoughts, the energy coming into your life where it's like trying to drag you back down into like old patterns, the old patterns of thinking, um, the old bonds. So like the devil has been coming up a lot in readings lately. And so it's like that devil energy being sucked down into back into that devil energy of bondage in whatever form that is like in your life so but what it's saying here is like that you need to heal don't put your energy 
where are you in what you don't want okay the king of swords knows what he wants and he knows how to make decisions to get that so he doesn't like um and and keep in mind that's like after the hermit mode and finding the balance and everything right but he knows what he wants he goes for what he wants he doesn't just sit there he takes he um takes action to have it okay and like um one of these cards I don't remember what but anyway okay so the five of swords okay that's like conflict so it could be conflict with others that you're having or conflict within yourself um, if you're having the conflict with others there's a conflict within yourself so like um, what the five of swords basically says though is like cut your losses and like you don't have to please everyone like you know what you want take what it is that you want and leave the rest like for instance like if someone um tries manipulate use manipulative tactics on you and like tries tries saying things that are hurtful or something don't get involved in it like leave it just Leave it and be, know what you want, know who you are, be what you want and who you are. Like, you know, and um, the Ten of Swords is like the end. Like, that's it. Like, you're done with all of this, those old thinking patterns that you used to think and what um, used to play out in, like, your mind. Okay? And, um, but, yeah. So that's the reading, but I did pull an oracle card, and I'm going to read from the book what the oracle card says for this reading. And this is the card that I got. It's from the Sacred Rebels oracle deck, and it's Visions of Life Beyond Death. And let me read to you what it says. Okay. <clears throat> so... The sacred, okay, it says, sacred vision is awakening within you. You are becoming blessed with the ability to truly see, to see what is real rather than what appears to be. This is true insight. What was what's considered consequential may soon be, soon be found to hold little consequence after all. What was once dismissed as an irritation or irrelevance irre may be seen to have great spiritual significance. As mundane as something once appeared, it could now be worthy of absolute attention. The gift of genuine vision takes you into the being of, a un of the universal creator. This is sacred terrain beyond logic, convention, and that which is limited in any way. The more open you are to receiving true vision, the more love you will feel and recognize within you and around you. Some something may appear to change form, to be shed, to be lost, to die, but there is love within it always. This realization doesn't remove the pain of loss. It does provide a way through which it can be healed and eventually transformed into peace. The vision of love, the truth of all that is, can move us more than anything else possibly can. If you have been wondering about your life path or whether you should take action on a project or you need inspiration to really move you out of a slump, this is like talking about what I was talking about in the past, in the past cards, right? Um, you have fallen into, then this oracle brings you a message of hope. You will receive your vision. You will be graced with a way out of stagnancy. You will be able to see things differently and move accurately. Any confusion or uncertainty you have felt is going to pass and you will be left with clear insight. The stories you have been feeling, feeding yourself or telling yourself, may end up looking differently to how they appear now. They may surprise you, but the vision that is coming to you will be more truthful and therefore freeing. It will be worth the shock, surprise, or moment of embarrassment when you realize you have been operating under false assurance or deluding yourself uh, about the truth of a situation. See, this is like the Eight of Cups reversed. That's what it's talking about. 
These moments will pass and they are not something to feel bad about. They signify that you are leaving behind a smaller view for a more expansive one. They may, as they are a sign that you have outgrown your old vision in order to live in a bigger one. This is good. There might be a moment when your ego feels a bit dented, but sure enough, the two will pass. This oracle comes with additional guidance for you. You are watched over by life and held in protection. Whatever has been bothering you will not be able to harm you. You will prevail. If you are concerned that someone is getting away with something or blocking your path and it seems that there is nothing you can do about it, don't worry. The all-seeing eye of life perceives everything without accept exception. It is a universal mother with eyes not only in the back of her head but in every living cell of itself. She misses nothing. And the truth of her vision will always be met with justice, mercy, and wisdom. This oracle is also making you shift your perspective and look at an issue or concern a little differently. If you don't know how to do this, simply add the following statement to the end of the healing process below. I call upon the universal eye to show me the most helpful way to see the situation or concern now. In shifting how you look at things, the energy is what, in what is being held. You can see this with people. When you shame and judge someone, they react differently to when you they are loved and encouraged. They may succeed nonetheless, but the journey to that success will be different. Looking at something through the eyes of love rather than fear can help us find our way more quickly and easily and enjoyably. This oracle comes with an additional message that your ability to perceive is expanding through truth. Your ability to be inspired and see the light in all things is unfolding. It must be nourished in your heart with loving acceptance because you are going to help others through your vision, your art, and how you choose to be in the world. See, that's what I was talking about with the three of pentacles. Like if you're not specifically working with someone, it's like whatever it is that you're planning on doing is something that's supposed to help a lot of people. Um, the healing process below will help you accept and anchor this developing gift. Say aloud, I now release any fear I have associated with seeing truth and seeing beyond the veil of illusion or with my inner vision opening up from my heart, mind, and body. I release any wounding I have received in relation to what I have witnessed at any time, especially where it is based in the fearful responses of others. I ask that my vision be restored to its fullness through compassion and unconditional love. So be it. Close your eyes. Imagine love pouring down from the universe straight into your head, reaching beyond, behind your eyes and feeling really good. When you have had enough of this, simply open your eyes and imagine you can breathe or exhale any excess energy gently out through them. Then you have finished your healing process. All right. So that's it. I'm going to do readings for each sign too, but this is a general. So if it resonates with you, if you'd like to like, subscribe, and share, that really helps out the channel. Okay, thanks.